baby is Nike. Baby is Nike. Tell her she don't wanna fight me. You see my baby daddy. Uh, uh. You see my wifey. I'm gonna need positive vibes. I'm gonna need y'all to subscribe. I think I'm too real for the internet. Baby, they know I'm my size. I'm so cool. So cool. Fresh. Uh. PRP counting the blessings. We don't take nothing for granted. Kamari so rich and so happy. Zayn, like what happening? PRP. Run up the numbers, no lagging. Run up the numbers, no lagging. PRP. Run up the numbers, no lagging. What's up, PRP gang? It's your girl, PRP. And yes, yes, yes. I am here with another video. But this video is going to be different. It's a little bit of story time, but this is my last time speaking on this story. And I know I said I was leaving this situation in 2019 and then the fight broke out. And I said I was starting my new year off in February. And here it is February and I'm still here stuck on the same subject because people just can't pass this class. So I think I'm going to have to start my new year over in March. Or I'm going to just wow out all 2023 and try again 2024. Comment below if y'all think I should start over in March or while out the rest of this year um in the meantime in between time like this video leave me a comment for sure hit that post notification bell and subscribe 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 tell a friend to tell a friend but i want to get right into what i'm here to say because yes i've been seeing these screenshots that you've been y'all you all have been sending me and my sister mimi and I am appalled. I am appalled. Because not only do this channel only have 13.5 subscribers. But you mean to tell me that you sit and wait on this channel to go live to talk about me. Every day. Like you sit and wait on me. No, you sit and wait on that channel to talk about me like you sit and wait on the 21st of every month. And it's giving obsessed. Like, y'all, and I, I'm only speaking on this because I be seeing a lot of y'all in the comments talking about I'm always starting something with her or I'm always mentioning her. I'm always being shady. Let's, let's start here. She is not the only person that I could have or may have an issue with. Charlene does not matter to me. I felt like once we fought, in my eyes, I was done with her. She was she was through. And I seen the comment where she said, I ran to the car like Lexi when she asked for a round two. There's a full-blown video. And at the end of that video, I took my time and picked my wig up off the ground, picked my shoe up off the ground. I then walked to the car as Lexi's still arguing with her grown-ass daughter and her old-ass mama knocking on the window for her to unlock the door. So if there was ever any need of a round two, I didn't think we needed a referee or for me to turn around and okay you to give me a round two. If you was really that, you would have ran up on me again. But why you want a round two if you won? Because, see, I only want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe or round around if I lost. So you won in a round two, you know you lost. And that's why you're still speaking on me, because you want your round again. And the only way I'm going to give you your second round, come to the hood. You so gutter, you so ghetto, you get like that about yours, come to the hood. Come to the hood and fight me, I promise you, you won't make it back to Vegas. Come to the hood. Come to my hood. Say, I'm with you and yours. So come with me and mine. And then we can call it fair. Simple. If we got to wait to the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, we can do that. Come to, come to my hood and fight me. If you want your round two. Because I'm content. Y'all ain't seen me say nothing about this girl. Y'all have not seen me mention her. Everything I say, y'all take a shade to her. She's a non-factor. A non-factor. Every time it gets close to the first of the month, here we are again paying Charlene and whoever bills she done cahoots up with her to join in uh, and gang up on me. And I still get out here and do this shit by myself. Just like I was out there at that fight by myself. Yes, Lexi was there, but Lexi was not there to fight. She always need a rally, a gang. Like, you ain't standing on your own team. You've never been standing on your own team. You're not 
fucking with me, Charlene. So the the root of this beef is let me tell y'all. So back way back nine years, eight years, how many other years ago? Because I don't, still don't think they got their time right or their relationship right. Me and my baby daddy was still in contact with each other because again, that's my baby daddy. So I knew nothing about her initially until he told me that the other girl he was with put him out and then she reached out to me and me and her got into it or whatever but he told me he was in the club and he seen a lady that he wanted to talk to and he proceeded to approach her and I guess they was on the same thing but the mama had a, a different agenda so when he approached her the mama told him my daughter wants to talk to you and he said your daughter, I thought I was coming to talk to you. And she was like, no, oh, my daughter's here with me. She want to talk to you. And here comes 6 o'clock Charlene. And immediately, she moves him in with her mom. <laughs> the other girl put him out. So my baby daddy was out looking for a come up. Yeah, let, me, let me fix my, this is my messy bunny, y'all. This the T bonnet. Put it to the okay. He was out looking for a come up because he was fresh in Vegas and he said, like, I'm not coming back to here. I gotta figure my way out out here. So he found Charlene and her mom and she moved him in immediately with the mama. And she got into it with the baby daddy and broke up with the baby daddy and put the baby daddy out and then moved CJ in. Didn't know him from a can of paint. Didn't run no facts check, no background, no nothing. No. Didn't know if he was crazy, if he had any uh, rape kits or anything on him. Yeah, she, didn't, she didn't do nothing. She just seen a man and hopped on it. But you got three kids at home with you. Two girls. Luckily, he wasn't any of that. So, when we was conversing, you know. He told me he had a new girlfriend and she had three kids and he was, you know, not able to work yet and he was going to try to pay his child support if I worked with him, whatever the case may be. So I, I agreed, okay, we can work on it. We can work around it. What, how it go? If they say she was paying his child support, then that's what they say. I don't know. I want that when the money was being pulled out or sent. Don't care. Once it hit my pocket, it was what it was. $50, might, might I add, a month. Don't let me forget that. So, I think some months had went by, and he FaceTimed me, and we was talking. It was like 1 something in, in the morning, and he was in the bathroom, and, and we were talking and whatever, and he was just saying, like, how she already been going through his phone and they been arguing. He wasn't happy, but he didn't have nowhere to go. And, you know, he still loved me. He missed me. And he gonna get on his shit to send for me and Kamar. Excuse me. Um, so he in the midst of that, he like, send me some pictures. What you wanna see, baby daddy? You know what I wanna see. Okay, boom. Pictures were sent. And what I say in my other video, y'all, she logged in in the act loud like she always do. But she went through his phone this time and she seen the pictures. And of course, he had to delete what he sent, but he kept the pictures. So he, he came up with a lie. Basically, like, oh, he sent me some money. And because he sent me some money, I felt generous to send him pictures of me. That was dumb. It was like, Nigga, I didn't see you pictures in exchange for money. <laughs> but she ran with that story, and that's when the issue initially jumped off. And ever since then, you know, we get into it. We stop talking. We talk about each other bad. We go toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other. He be every clown and goofy this and goofy that, and I be broke this and broke that or whatever. And then... Uh, Couple of months ago, back he be back. I baby mama, I love you. I miss you. I can't wait to see you. I want to do this and that to you. And she used to see all of this, and she became my worst enemy when she knew he would never leave me alone. So she had to do everything in her power to make sure he left me alone. 
her and whoever else was down there putting every watching me like a hawk, honey. From fake pages, he told me about her fake Facebook page. Just talking about her fake pages she had watching me. She would screenshot him pictures of me when I would be out. She always out. She got her hair done, her nails done. She go to the club, by the bar, this, that, and the third. Always been a fan of me. She's fanned out. So, I made a comment to him and I said, why your girl always wear that bun? He's like, I don't know. I be telling her to do something different or whatever. So, you know what my baby daddy is. He went back and told her. Here she goes, straight and flat on her head. Talking about, I got real hair. I don't got to wear no weave. I don't got to do this and that. Worried about you and that weave you wear on your head. And a couple of months later, baby, she the wing, wee queen. She don't wear nothing but weave. But you didn't need it. Every hairstyle I get, whether it be a bob, a flat iron, a ponytail, here goes Charlene. She got, she, here she go with the same style. Cause she know anything she do, anything I do, he like. I ain't gonna say he like, he love. And here she go, wanna do the same stuff. But I be, but I'm bitter. I'm jealous of her. I let her tell it. I seen the comment where she said she had a problem with me before YouTube, and I always been jealous of her. Explain to me what part of you that I was jealous of. Because when I first seen you, you was built like this. Straight up and down. No nothing. Then the next comment I seen you say, is it teeth before butt or butt before teeth? But you got your breasts done before your teeth. You got your butt done before your teeth. And you just got them horse veneers and then and, and let, leave it up to my baby daddy and them ain't even the real veneers. He went cheap with you. So, you ran and raving about jealous of you. Jealous of what? Of what? And if you a real woman, because your next comment, you proceed to say, I was jealous or I was mad that he was taking care of kids that wasn't his. Duh, Goofy. He, had, he has a whole child. Any real mother would be upset about their child's father taking care of kids that's not theirs versus their own. If you're going to take care of kids, take care of them all. I don't care if he was taking care of your kids. He got a child that he should have been taking care of as well. So, yes. Mad about it. Pissed. Jealous, though? That's not nothing to be jealous about. You're slow. Use the correct words in the correct form. Jealous? I can't be jealous of you or my baby daddy taking care of your kids. That's not jealousy. But I'll be having to forget she don't have a high school diploma, so these things are not equaling up in her mind. So, um, it just it baffles me because you she has so much to say on this live that um If it was a bigger platform, I, I don't know. I just feel like it's weak. It's weak to me. If you got so much, if you got this to say or so much to say, say it to me. You big, bo you big boss. You tough. You, you know, Tony. Say it to me. You on this live talking greasy, like so. That was that. Now come on, years later, you know, Kamari, we went down the. In 20, I don't remember the year. But when she first seen her daddy after four years, me and Kamari flew to Vegas. And he picked us up from the airport. And he took us to a hotel. And you know what grown folks do in hotels. <laughs> <sighs> but it's <laughs> it's just like I don't know her she don't know me she don't like me because she's seen pictures of me in his phone and I love yous and we went on we was trying to plan a secret family how can how can your first baby mama be a secret? 
We already family. <laughs> so when we went out there, she, of course, she went to the house with him once he left the hotel. And she met them for the first time. Now, as you, if y'all his real fans or whatever, y'all watch their energy from when they first met her on to the years of the BS and the drama and how everybody's energy started to change. Everybody's demeanor, everybody's true color starts to eventually show. And more and more and more, she was becoming bitter and bitter and bitter and bitter. And as I said in my other videos, if I, add, if I tell my baby, baby daddy I need help, Obviously, I'm telling him I need help because I needed the help. There's never been a time where I felt like I needed to finesse him because I've always got up and got a job and got, got it on my own. And I don't be saying that to brag, but it just be like, y'all be saying, oh, she had to get up and work. Meanwhile, words he can sit at home and be taken care of. Kudos to fucking her. I think Beyonce get up and go to work. Is she a billionaire? I think Oprah get up on that show and talk and say, "You get a gift, you get a gift, you get a." She a billionaire. She then they, they, they ain't laying on their backs and receiving. They getting up and getting to work, and, and they don't they don't always tell us how many jobs or how many income they got, but they ain't got one solely income that got them to that. But they they went from job to job, trip to trip, trade to trade to get where they at. You mean to tell me? Y'all gonna compare me to her because she sit up and hand put her hand out. And meanwhile, I get up and I don't give a... I wouldn't care if I mix blood and sweat in them cups. Yes, I'm a bartender. <laughs> Receipts, baby. Let me edit out my code because she might try to get it in my address. Yeah, that's me. And I just, I don't like how y'all be trying to paint a picture for Shorty because she ain't standing on nothing. And she know the quickest way to get under my skin, she has learned the quickest way to get under my skin is, keep, is to keep speaking on, the ch on my child. And y'all keep trying to come at me for speaking on her kids when tell me a time y'all seen me say anything about them twins other than what I said that that one time because them is his kids too like we share a child they share kids so me speaking on them it don't solely affect her it affect him too and when I first said something about them I said okay and I could be woman enough to say I shouldn't have said that and I'll take it back you know but when his mama said what his mama said, and I said, period, that's just, that's just what it is. That's the facts. That's just how it went. So y'all keep trying to, oh, you're wrong, you're wrong. What am I wrong about? Agreeing to the truth? But anyway, so I had got a, a DM. Uh, well, they had DM my BM. And the DM, it, it's kinda, it kind of proves my point. It, it's kind of disturbing, too, but it proves my point because Charlene has been obsessed with me. Charlene has always needed somebody to back her up. Charlene has always needed validation. So, in this screenshot, it's her DMing a messy page or a person that do messy posts or whatever and she put my picture and her picture side by side oh the Versace shoes because because we got it on in this picture so y'all remember when I had you know blew up about CJ buying me the Versace shoes so me and him was on the phone one day and he had the blue and white pair and I was like baby daddy I was looking at your Instagram and I like them shoes you got on in that picture and he was like what shoes and I'm like the blue and white ones he was like, oh, the Versace shoes? I'm like, yeah. He was like, I know, they tight. I love them shoes. He was like, Roy royalty don't like them. And I'm like, she don't? He was like, no. And I'm like, oh, she crazy as hell. I'm like, they tight. So he was like, 
that's what I'm saying. I know she don't got no fashion. You know, I know, I know you know, or whatever. So I'm like, yeah. Uh, he was like, well, just for that, I'm about to send you the money and order you some. So I ordered my pair, whatever. After I blew up about the shoes, here she goes. She get a pair. <laughs> she really went through his phone and seen it, but still, she wanted to get her a pair because he bought me a pair. On my birthday, August 13, 2019, I wore a pink dress, the, a soft pink dress that had the same pink um, in the Versace shoes. And I had a ponytail. I got a ponytail done um, in my he head or whatever. She goes and get dressed up. She put a ponytail in her hair. Y'all know she quick to throw them little weed ponytails on top of her head. And since the picture, me and her side by side, and say, expose her, please. Stole my whole hair looking pose. Why did you need somebody to expose me for wearing something that I had first? Why did what I had on bother you so much that you wanted somebody to expose me for wearing it? Why are you watching my page so tough? That you went out your weird way to put our picture side by side to have somebody explode. She even posed like me, y'all. Now, I'm telling you, if y'all look at my pictures, I, po I pose one of two ways. And she went outside in the grass like me and everything. Like, weird. So, she say, expose her, please. Stole my whole look in here. Stole my whole look, hair, and pose. And she wearing the shoes she sold her kid for. Shaking my head. Post on your page and tag everyone so they can see this clown. Then she she steady going back and back with the person. Big mad. Thanks though. The person say no problem. I'll post it again in a bit. Okay, just say who look, look better. You need people to tell you you look cute because you ugly. That's funny. Why only that pic? You been exposing her ass, shaking my head. They pressed. Sick. Sick, y'all. Sick. Yes, that's her Instagram. Yes, this is a picture of me and her side by side that she put together. Yes, this is her writing this person back to back to back to expose me of a look she for her wanted to look like me. And that'll be in the video too, so y'all can see. If obsessed was a person, this it here. And this is 2019. So there's no telling how many people she done put up to exposing me or how many fake pages she behind talking this mess on. That's why I don't put nothing past her. That's why I said what I said. So I be telling my baby daddy, stay on your P's and Q's when it come to her. Just like y'all say, he do too much. He, he shouldn't have did this. He shouldn't have did that. And I told him he should have paid attention to the way she moved. She kept her three kids from the first baby daddy. What made you any different? She keeping them them kids from you. It don't matter how much money you got. That, that's, that's her. This is a pattern. This is what she do. So just get used to not seeing them because this is what she doing. You should know that. You stay with her for nine to eight years, how many ever. And she got on in, on the live internet and said, they don't need you. They have somebody else. You'll never see them. What real mama do that? If the father is trying. So we proceed with these lives that she sit around and wait on. Okay, guys, we about to go live. They about to go live. Let me get on here. Let me... Charlene don't, Charlene don't want to rumble with me. And it's like, I just can't wrap my mind around the stuff she be pulling. Like, you have nothing else to do but sit up and talk about how I make my money, when I make my money, what I'm doing, where I'm at, how I dress, what I put on, what I eat, what I, where I sleep. What my daughter got on, what my daughter... Worry about chores. You steady speaking on my chair, but being her face, hey, come on, girl, hey, your ass to hell. When you see her, act like she don't exist. Don't speak to her. No, don't, don't do none of that. We don't phone and kick it. We don't, we don't do none of that. But 
something that was funny that was brought to my attention this morning. <laughs> this tramp said, CJ told me Mimi was taking 80% of her YouTube money. Oh my God. How do even my nose know this bullshit? That's crazy. So that means I make videos for Mimi. Ooh, we all need you to go back to math school. Math class, algebra, hook, hooked on phonics. Uh, let me tell y'all something. Mimi edits my videos. Mimi gets all of my, I ain't gonna say bookings, but she goes through my DMs, the people that want, want to do business with me, the promos and the link, you know, all the business stuff Mimi takes care of, along with editing me and Mari videos whenever Mari decides to post a video. 80%. <laughs> Y'all know that's my sister, right? If that wench was getting 80% of my money, or I'll be pounding on her head and we are on the same bank account. I see the money. You ain't gonna say CJ told me. I'm her, I'm her uh, pimp. At this point, no, you give me the pay. I need some um, allowance. What? Is y'all crazy? Then this... This spawn of the devil said how many of Kamari parties did he miss? You proud of that? You happy about that? You happy that your miserable tail kept this, this man from his daughter and her birthdays because you insecure, bitter, miserable, and you parading about that. Like, I just be really want to know who raised you. And who raised Mr. Ratburn because obviously she wasn't raised right either. To even keep allowing you to do the stuff that you do. Say the stuff that you say. He missed her birthdays because he didn't want to put you in an awkward position because you were not mentally strong enough, secure enough to allow him to be around his child and me because you're threatened by me. You know, you know to this day that my baby daddy loved me. That's, that's just what it is. And... I'm not going nowhere. All eight, nine years, we argue, go without talking, argue again, be cool, be talking, do a little bit of this, get a little bit of that. This just, this is what it is. And whole time with you being out the picture, y'all can't open up your eyes and see who the problem was, who the issue is. Y'all keep talking about, I, I want to have a problem with her, but he the problem. I don't owe her no loyalty. I don't know her. So what I'm finna jump on the bandwagon with her for? Because y'all think he a narcissist? What a narcissistic? Because he feel he say what he want to say, do what he want to do, and and that's what it is. She's allowed it for so long. Why rant and rave about who he is and how he is now? You allowed it. You allowed it for nine years, nine, eight, seven, six, five, how many ever? You allowed it. But you keep getting on here talking about what he didn't do for her. Like that's okay. And if you never ran into him, what did your kids? father do for them what do they do for them what you if i'm sure he would do for them but you so bitter and just slow you won't even allow neither one of them to help you because you need the help steady speaking on child on food stamps but when i'm done with my food stamp card 
I still got cash to blow up your ass and you still waiting on the 21st. When I'm done spending whatever the government offer me, I still got money to blow, honey. And you be trying to down somebody just like I went to the dollar store and, you know, bought different things for my house. Because, again, in the dollar store, it's name brand stuff. And it don't even have to be name brand. If that's why I want to shop, that's why I shop. Now you in the dollar store. Like, if wanna be me was a person, and y'all keep saying it's me. I don't watch Charlene. I don't care to hear what she's talking about. I don't care to know what she's doing. I can't stand the sound of her voice. Her content is boring. It's really revolved around me. Got a new banner. The banner show the hell look like my banner. What you go to the same person as me? You found them in the DM suit. Did you do Nike banner? Did you do Nike banner? Who did Nike banner? Like, you're weird. Weird alert. Weird alert. It's just, I'm seeing a whole lot of me. Me, 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 me. But you... You talk so down on me, but want to be me, honey. So down on me, but want to be me. Keep talking about I'm jealous. You had nothing. You are nothing. You were nothing. You still ain't nothing. What am I jealous of? I get up and do what I'm supposed to do every day, and you mad about it. I make it look good, and you mad about it. You ain't going to never catch me on here talking about what I can't buy and what I, what I can't do because of. If I can't get it, I can't get it. It is what it is. It don't got to be top notch. It don't got to be name brand. Anything I put on, I can make it look good. So next time, do better. Maybe you need to get a Mimi and get, get, get Mimi 80% of your shit too, so she, your videos can be edited right. And then on the clearance rack. So I can't wear these shoes. Guys got to get the one from last year. Can't go to Dubai. It's too high. But it wasn't too high when CJ was paying for it. Them sections weren't too much when CJ was paying for it. Now E40 here. No, E40 ain't even got no music out. Do something like you can't afford a section. The hell? It's just be it's it's just too much. I just you you give me stuff to stand on. Like, <laughs> oh guys, I mean, I'll be spending my birthday. I ain't spent your birthday in Vegas. I don't know how many years. Now you ain't got no sponsors. Yeah, we're here in Vegas. Not gonna go to Drake's. It's too much. I gotta go to um Venezuela because it's too much. <laughs> Can't get these shoes because it's too much. We can sell. <laughs> Talking about he missed Kamari parties. You need to miss some parties, shit. How many of your kids' party did you sponsor? Alone. On your own. I'll wait. Well, you could tell me you threw a birthday party for any one of them kids. Without the help of CJ, I will back down. I'm lying. <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it, me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, yeah. Everything you be trying to put me down about, baby, you be doing the same thing. I just wear my real. real. I wear it real and well. If I ain't got it, I ain't got it. If I been through it, I been through it. If I did it, I did it. If I said it, I said it. You be trying to paint this picture like you holier than thou and you ain't shit. So, stop speaking on my child. You don't like her, that's cool. She don't like you. We don't like you. We don't fool with you. We don't care about you or the nations. None of that. You and Royalty Nation stay over there. Me and the gang gonna stay over here. You miss me with all that. But like I said, you want your, your round to get your one. Come to my hood. Other than that, we going to see if you got something else to crack back down on, you know. Because I really don't have no more times for me to keep even going back and forth about this. And I'm not going to keep giving the tea page or something to talk about and stir up and brew because they, they do it too. They feed your ego. And then you get on there like you tough, tough Tony. And, yeah, because... I don't so. That's not even you, Shout. Then get on the next video. Hey guys. Sorry, is there dark shine? What's up? What you wanna do? Pick which one is you? You wanna be a gangbang and a maid all in one. Sick in the head. But I just had to go on out. Y'all know how I be coming. I had to come on out here and throw these receipts at y'all. Because she been obsessed with me. She been. 
I think she want to get some of my macaroni. She giving me, she want to get in the bed with me and get some of my macaroni because she loved me at this point. She hate that she loves me so much. That's why she got Mimi block. She got Tavi block. She got Kamari block. She got uh, my other nieces and nephews block. She got people that I never even knew she knew block, but she don't have me block. Because you want to watch me. You want to keep up with me. You watch my videos. I don't watch yours. You watch my Instagram. I don't watch yours. I got people that report to me and tell me what you got going on or feel the need to volunteer, volunteer your information. I don't care about what you do. I don't care if you sell your coochie to the highest bidder. I ain't buying it, so I don't care. But I think you want some of mine. It's been giving me that for a while now, and I just thought I should bring that to the forefront. That I think all them threesomes you had to do because yours wasn't enough is weighing on you now. Yeah, even when I was seeing the videos on his phone, I didn't hear no macaroni sign. It was more like pants banging. I ain't hear no. None of that, baby. So that's why them nine years was rough on you. You thought getting a breast job and a butt job and some big teeth was going to pull you back to the top and it didn't do nothing but drown you even more. But. <laughs> Hey, you got a big dog. You're the better woman. I'll let you have it. You know, whenever you want that one, come to the hood. If you ain't come to the hood, I don't want to talk. If you ain't coming to the hood, don't respond. Because you ain't getting no respond out of me no more. When I speak on, on stuff on my videos, I wish y'all stop making it about her. She doesn't matter. I live around trillions of feet. It's Females everywhere in this world. Females at the bar. Females at the store. Females in the neighborhood. Females. It's females everywhere. We worldwide. Y'all be thinking she the only one that matters. Nobody beefing with Charlene. Charlene beefing with herself. Talking about ran to the car like Lexi. Girl, I limp to the car with that one shoe on and that wig in my hand. <laughs> Lexi, let me in. What's up, Shirley? What's going on? Standing there patiently waiting. Y'all just all holler. Oh, talking about ran to the car. Y'all look at this disaster. When I be seeing drugs, this is what I mean. Look at that, she was low out. She's like, <laughs> <"Hey>, <laughs> so many cigarettes, vapes, and all that. Look at Mr. Rabbi. <laughs> Talking about some ran to the car. Girl, we were sitting there. If you wanted to get in there, you could have got in there. Look at your son. Your son, bro. Broke as hell. You live with your daughter. She can't get shit on her own. Broke ass bitch. She on CJ Bill, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do y'all. We sit back and laugh at y'all. Y'all jokes. Y'all need to stop believing the hype. This this she don't I be about ready to go though. She don't stand on nothing factual, y'all. Nothing. 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 When she can show y'all some receipts, then I shut up. But in the meantime, in between time, I said this to say, I'm not going to keep going back and forth with Charlene uneducated ass. I got a high school diploma. I have a college diploma. I have my liquor license. I have my CPR li uh, registration. I have, I'm registered to work wherever I want to work. I'm a registered medical assistant on top of being a bartender, on top of filing taxes, on top of being a YouTuber. I have my LLC for my for me, period. Whatever business I want to get in, I have an LLC on, under my name. An EIN number. I'm really out here working while you sitting back and watching me. I don't know nothing about what you got going on I don't watch you. If I get on YouTube and see you, your name and my name pop up on the T page or the voice of the reason or whatever, I'm going to click on it because here they go stirring the pot again. You be sitting around waiting on these people to go live about me for you to have a platform to stand on the, to make you feel big and bad. But... 
feel big and bad about shopping on that clearance rack at Neiman's and Marcus's. If you want a clearance rack, you shouldn't be in there. Feel big and bad and bold about wearing shoes from last year. Feel big and bad and bold about not having the money to go out of town for your birthday or getting a section for your birthday. You're basic. You ain't standing on nothing. You're not messing with me. If you if you can't show me a diploma, you can't show me no license, you can't show me a cell phone bill with your name on it, you can't show me a house deed with your name on it, you can't show me that car note with that car with your name on it, you can't show me nothing. Don't talk to me. Don't mention me. Don't talk. My child got more money than you. Don't speak on me. I'm sick of you. You're through, bro. You through. And if you want your one, come to the hood. We gonna do that to you and send you on your way back. And I don't want to. I don't ever even want to breathe you, shorty. You're through. You disgusting. Like you don't got none of. You got five kids and you sit on the lab to talk about me, CJ, and Lexi. Girl, get you some money. And stop. And then boasting and bragging about being with this different football player and this different. Thing. You're weak. You weak. Them niggas only with you because they think you got some paper and you don't. You ain't got nothing. Show me your bank account and I'll show you mine. And we ain't talking about it on the 21st. Let me see that bank account right now. I'll show you mine right now. You ain't standing on nothing. And I said what I said and I'm posting all these receipts because Shorty ain't shit. Nothing. Like I said, don't speak on me. If you want to fight, come to the hood. If not, you through, I'm through, and I'm out. Like this video. Comment on this video. Subscribe to me. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss a video. Please. No. What? What's your thing? Let's go!